Hello, and welcome to another Art of Small Town Business Learning. Uh, happy to be here with you. Tom Eaglehoff, you're a small business consultant. And uh, today I want to introduce a 10 point uh, plan on how to create a, a small town business plan. Because as we all know, small towns are nowhere or nothing like big business or big business in big cities. Small towns have their own unique personalities and we want to start on that today. So we want to start to create a small town business plan. And this series is going to be for small towns only. You're, you're more than welcome to watch it if you're in a larger city. But uh, the things that we're going to talk about uh, may not work in uh, larger communities. So that's what we want to start out with. So we hope that uh, this uh, information will be helpful to you. And uh, we would love to have you as a regular subscriber on the channel. And we're going to start with, first of all, before we do the business plan and actually compile that and put it together, we've got to start with assembling the proper information for the business plan. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to answer seven questions um, that uh, you have to answer to start your business plan. First question is going to be, who are we? Now, notice I said we. In a small town, in many cases, unless you're an attorney, uh, an accountant, uh, a doctor, uh, business businesses in small towns are family businesses. I grew up in a, in a small town family business, mom and dad and my brother and sister and I, we all worked in the business. And that's what I think is going to happen here with uh, uh, your ideas. If they're a home-based business, if you're going to plan a storefront, if you're working out of your home, whatever it is, first of all, we have to define who are we? What do you bring to the table? What expertise do you have? What, what do you bring to the customer that the customer is going to want? customer's going to need. Customer can't do without. So that's what we need to do first is identify who are you? What do you bring to the table? What's your expertise? What's your certification? What's your degrees, education, whatever you have? You know, uh, that's what we've got to start with. So that's the first question that we're going to, that we're going to delve into. Who are we? Next, we've got to answer, what do we do? What do we do? So what is your business? Describe your business in great detail. What is it? What is it that you do for the customer? What's your product? What's your service? Uh, what do you bring to the customer that they can't live without? So we've got to define exactly what you do. And next of all, and this is extremely important. This is probably the most important question of all. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? Looking on YouTube, uh, you can do a search for small businesses in small towns. And there's hundreds of websites that says the 30 best businesses to start in a small town. And that's great. The only problem is that if you're not absolutely locked into that business, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. I mean, there's no question about it because you've got to be, um, let me make, let me make an example. If, if you and I are standing in the ocean and I push your head under the water, what are you going to do? You're going to say, boy, this is interesting, Tom. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're going to go, what are you doing? Get me out of here. And that's it. You know, if you, you have to, you have to have that, that kind of tenacity to make your business work. So why do you do it? Why do you do it? Because it, it brings something to you. It's not just money, which is a good thing, but it may bring you other things that are more important. A togetherness of the family, a, a more secure relationship, a, a, you know, a, a, a better lifestyle, you name it. Uh, education for the kids, uh, donation to the church, uh, you know, or whatever, uh, take care of your uh, older uh, 
father, mother, or grandmothers, or whatever. There's a whole bunch of reasons why we do it, but you've got to define out what's your what's your motivation for doing this. What's your motivation to start this business plan, make this thing work, and make it happen? Next, who do we do it for? This is your target market. Who are the people most likely to buy your product or service? And what makes them, what, what identifies them, their education, their income, their lifestyle? Uh, do they have, do they own dogs? Do they drive pickup trucks? Uh, do they take vacations? What do they do? You know, we've got to identify who these people are because we've got to match up their needs with this product or service. So it's very important that we know who do we do this for. Next, we've got to talk about why do we do it for them, okay? They must have a need. Now, when we talk about need, we're going to go into this in the business plan uh, as we go through the 10 steps I'm going to um, do in future podcasts here, future videos. But why do we do it for them? Well, there's a need. And in some cases, you may need to create the need. Let me give you an example, the hula hoop. How many people needed it the day before it was introduced? Did anybody, was there a demand? Somebody's got to invent a hula hoop. Who's working on that? Let's go, let's get that started. No, uh, why do we do it for them? Because we think we have a product or service that's gonna improve their life. It's gonna make things better for them. It's gonna do a lot of good things for the people that we're gonna provide this uh, product or service to. So very important part is why do we do it for them? Next question, of course, very important also, how will we do it? Where's the money gonna come from? How much startup investment do we need? Do we need equipment to provide this uh, this product or service? Uh, is it, uh, do we just need a computer and a home base uh, desk to uh, do it on? So how will we do it? What are the steps we're gonna have to take to bring this business from out of our head between our ears and put it into practice? So how will we do it? Very, very important. And question number seven, the last one, what will keep us from doing it? What will keep us from doing it? What will stop us? What will keep us from doing this? this product or service what will keep us from getting it out on the market it might be uh it might be money it might be um in order to do this business we've got to have a, a delivery vehicle okay so you're you're gonna have to plan as part of your business plan things you don't have now how are you going to get them because most weaknesses are temporary they're temporary so whatever we need, what will keep us from doing this? Is there competition? Well, there may be. Uh, Coke has competition, so does Burger King, uh, so does Pizza Hut, but they all seem to survive. So just because there's competition in your small town doesn't mean that uh, it's impossible for you to start that business in that small town. So that will, uh, that will uh, give you the seven ways or the seven questions at least to uh, start off assembling the information you're going to need. Now, in the next uh, few videos, we're going to go through the business plan in detail, in great detail. We're going to go through it a section at a time. These are going to be short videos. They're not going to be hour long, uh, you know, lectures or dissertations. But the thing we've got to recognize is that doing business in small towns is not like doing it in big cities. So there are some things we've got to consider. There are things we've got to note in our business plan that is going to make it imperative that if we're going to go to a bank with our business plan, uh, we need to have all our ducks in a row and we'll, we'll, we're going to teach you how to do that. And the other thing is that even if you, even if you're going to start from scratch in your garage, Motorola did, my, uh, Microsoft did, Apple did, all of these things started in garages. So. Uh, don't feel that because you're starting from scratch that this can't be done because it absolutely certainly can. So 
and that's why we're here so we're going to keep this uh we're going to keep this going so in the uh, next video we're going to start um talking about uh, the basic parts of the business plan and what you need to know about each one and then we're going to break each part down over the next uh, nine uh, episodes of this series so we hope you'll join uh, with us we hope you'll subscribe and uh, donate or <laughs> subscribe ring the notification bell leave comments if there are unanswered questions that we have we want to uh, know what those are we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about any of the parts of the business plan that we're going to talk about in the next 10 videos so stay tuned for that and uh, thank you very much for uh, being here and uh, we really appreciate you guys and uh, hey we wish you unlimited business success in your small town so we'll see you in the next video